Harbling. I'm a painter and designer, and today I'm back where I grew up in Laytonsville, Maryland. I've been painting a bunch of schools recently, and now that I'm back home, I'm finally getting the chance to paint one that I went to. I'm gonna be painting my elementary school of Laytonsville Elementary School and doing my version of the Bulldog mascot. This is gonna be a fun way to bring some life into it and some extra excitement for when they come back. Been working with the art teacher and the principal to get everything smoothed out and all ready to go. Now I just wanna get myself into the elementary school mindset to make this piece as good as possible. the background buff luckily my dad was here to help me get the like the grout in there because I was taking took a lot of time and, and need extra hands and been awesome hanging out with my dad and this next part is probably one of my favorite steps in the process what I'm doing is just drawing a bunch of random pictures and images and letters and filling up the entire space you I, love, I love to draw those faces with the guy just staring off to the side with his mouth open and on this side here we've got one face on a balloon being held up by a guy in a cub shirt Next to it, you see Eric Carbling written in Hebrew. On the other side, we've got Kenny Carbling written in Hebrew. A few random stars and some birds and fish. A bunch of fish eating fish. <laughs> I'll draw those faces. How long have you been drawing I've, this? I've been drawing those faces for about 50 years. Maybe longer. Because <laughs> that's my doodle throughout every class anywhere ever. It's awesome. And now, draw those faces. Yeah, now it's going to be the foundation for this. Once it's all filled up and there's a lot of detail on there, I take a picture of the wall and then I find my sketch and the plan that I have for the mural. I take that and I paste it on top of this picture for the wall. Then once I make it a little bit see-through, I can tell where certain parts of this dog need to be drawn on the wall. This makes sure I can get the right proportions because just drawing it on the wall would be very, very hard. Uh, and this way I won't have to rework it a lot of times. And the more information I draw with the doodles at the beginning, the more precise it'll be in the end. Now I take a can of spray paint and I draw what I see in that picture based on where the doodles are underneath. And all those doodles I drew with chalk because once I'm all done with the spray paint, I can easily wipe the chalk off with a wet rag. Then I'll still have my outline and sketch to go from where I can start adding colors over top of it and without all the stuff underneath. Now that I have the sketch on there and we wiped off all the chalk so I can see the lines really clearly, now I can kind of start the next step. The next step is when I start adding color to it. Because there's so much weird information on the bulldog, like all those wrinkles, there's different highlights in different places, I'm trying to be very precise with where I put different values so those things will still be prominent in the end. So I'm going to start with the really light values on the places like his forehead um, and the top of some wrinkles in his cheeks, and then I'll start going darker beyond that. So I use big lines of contour in the main color so I can define each section and then from there I can use the different colors within that section but those main big lines of color keep it defined of what's really important and will move your eye around the piece even more but right now I have all the information I need to get started Starting day two, 
and pretty happy with where I got but now noticing a few details that after taking some time away from it that I think could be tightened up a little bit I think I want to change a bit of how the skateboard is shaped it looks a little bit off and I think the wheels are slightly too big once I finish fixing that then I want to fill up the background with a lot more colors so it's about as dense as within the dog itself noticing that I lost a good amount of detail on the face because I use colors of all kind of the same intensity um, and it's not really getting as much shading and depth with it you can still see where the contour lines are and where the things are important on the face but there's a lot of detail that I think I lost so after I fill up everything with the background and get it kind of set I'm gonna go back through and shade it to bring the tones out a little bit more so the highlights get brighter and then I need to put some of the areas a little bit darker so those tones um, have a better contrast so the highlights come out so I can get all the wrinkles right got a few more steps to go once I get through the background I'll be warmed up and loose and then should uh, just get the final details in there since the weather was so nice the rest of my family was there hanging out as well and one of my best friends growing up basically my brother and we lived at each other's houses sean was able to stop by too not just my guy helping me paint but since I was so in the zone, I kind of forgot to get a good picture of the whole scene of everybody sitting far apart with their masks on. But I was good enough to get this little bit of footage of my sister and her boyfriend Jordan helping me paint. It was an amazing way to get to spend the day when there's not too much else we can do and a great way for us all to be together. all those areas that weren't working that second eye I had to redo a few times because it wasn't looking right come down and look every time and it was still bothering me so I left it for the end but now that I have all the background there I'm gonna start shading within the dog to bring out some of the values that I lost so we can get those wrinkles back uh, get the nose highlighted maybe add some drool but got a good plan for it just need to accentuate some of the cheeks and make some areas a little bit darker where shadows will fall and then it'll really pop off and give it much more dimension so almost there done yesterday but then from looking at the picture and sending it around to a few people and talking with the principal a few little tweaks that I want to make the teeth are a little bit too intense and I tried taking them off on the iPad it looks way more friendly so I'm gonna put that back on there but what's really cool is since, since today's Monday there are some kids that are here for like the daycare even though the school is not fully open and they've all been so excited as I was walking up they were all kind of yelling at me did you do that so uh, it's great it's only been a little bit and the full community hasn't seen it but this is the only response that really matters. So I'm going to finish it up and see what they say after that. Now it is totally done and I'm so happy how this came out. This was so much fun. Pretty surreal spending all this time back in my elementary school playground. But the best possible thing to do right now, hanging out with family outside, all spaced out. So happy to have contributed even more to the place where I grew up and hopefully can inspire kids on this playground when they come back. I see in their bulldog mascot ripping it up on a skateboard and just want to be full of joy and life and, and running around here like I was as a kid. And this was so much fun and so happy to give this to the kids of this school where I grew up. Here's the final piece.